Here at last. Mm -hmm. Listen, I got it all figured out. Cal Steen and Ramsmeet were associates. I have irrefutable evidence. What do we do with that information? We set a trap, though it might be dangerous. Gather your equipment and come back later. All right. Yes? I find your reasoning somewhat flawed. Witcher, don't get me wrong, but this is hardly my first case. I'm in my element, been waiting in this bog for years. Hmm. I'm good at what I do. I don't go around telling you how to hunt monsters, do I? I know how to handle monsters. And I know how to handle this case. Something's been worrying me. Speak freely, Geralt. You can trust me. It's you. I have the impression you've changed. No reason to be shy? Tell me. Recently, my medallion has vibrated every time I've come here. Must be my warning, amulets. Salamandra's men could attack at any moment. It vibrates a lot. A master mage made these amulets. They're not Saint Lebiota's tailbones or other crap from the market square. I'm ready for Ramsmeet. Good. He leads Salamandra's armed force. You have to kill him. Won't be easy, but I'll try. Now I'm really Yes? So I killed Ramsmeet. Excellent. You broke the organization's spine. I found no proof on him. He was completely clean. That confirms Ramsmeet and his men were just a strike force. Now we know the evidence points to Kalkstein. I see you've planned everything. I have. We need to lure him into a trap. The Swamp Tower interests him. We can use it as bait. So I'll wait for you there. Geralt, we're nearing our investigation's end. The solution is within reach. How do we handle this? We need to secure what's hidden in the tower. All the books and scrolls. Bait for our target. Just one thing missing. I have yet to unlock the tower door. That's where I come in. This stone is the key to the tower, or part of the key. You make sure you get Kalkstein interested, like we agreed. The Water Lords and I! Kalkstein, an alchemist, claims you know about the tower's mage and its sentry. A powerful sorcerer once lived in the swamp, an apprentice his only companion. All changed when a woman entered his life. A fairy tale beginning. But the end differs. For a wicked woman she was. He fulfilled all her wishes and she took advantage of his might. Who was the woman? Unimportant. I'm listening. Blind love spelled the mage's demise. He called upon forces he could not control and died. What about the guard? The mage's lover could tell fortunes and the mage created a deck of extraordinary tarot cards. He illustrated a future event on each card. And? Golems guarded the mage's dwelling. 
Those spared the ravages of time survive at the cemetery, where they remain motionless. One of them is the guard? Yes, the most powerful golem acted as sentry. The tower card depicts how the golem can be revived. In turn, this will open the tower anew. Take this card. I no longer need it. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. About the tower. Yes? Vasca helped me locate the tower tarot card. It describes how to wake the sentry. Let's see this card. Interesting. Much depends on interpretation, but I think I understand. Alchemists find it easier to understand other alchemists. Enlighten me. The sentry can only be woken if it's near the tower, which it is, and by using a lightning rod. A lightning rod? The drawing depicts a man in a crown, a reference to King Herman the Mad. Who's Herman the Mad? Herman used to ascend a tower during storms and insult the guards. A hostile faction carried out a coup by removing the lightning rod from the tower. An interesting story. You'll need a device that attracts and conducts lightning. Put plainly, a solid metal rod. A good smith should be able to forge one for a decent price. What next? Yes, we'll need a thunderstorm, but I have no idea how to make Mother Nature cooperate. I'll think of something. When you have everything, attach the lightning rod to the sentry. Energy from the lightning bolt will revive the golem. What next? No idea, but you'll manage. If you kill the golem, you'll be able to make a rare potion requiring his heart. Here's the formula. We'll see. Hmm... Sorry, I got lost in thought. See ya. Yeah. Need something? Will you sell me your wares? Zultan praised you, so we can trade. If you care to buy something, see my apprentice. I do the forging and handle special orders. Would you make me a lightning rod? A long metal... I know what one is. We used them in Mahakam, when humans still prayed to storms. You haven't learnt much about lightning rods since. Can you make a lightning rod? Are you trying to offend me, or can't you control what you say? I can, for 50 orins. Deal. Come back later. I can't handle this! My heart! Help! What now? Such debauchery under my roof! She hooks herself a musician or something! It's the famous poet, Dandelion. I know his fame! I've no desire to listen to a crying brat nine months from now! Shall I chaperone them? Finally! You're making sense! Hi, Geralt. Dandelion can't wait to see you. Geralt? I'll be damned. For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. No, I'm no ghost. Am I losing my mind? Is this a joke? Shawnee? And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see, Dandelion? I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And there was a unicorn, and Milva, Kahir, and Angulem, and Yarpen, and Zoltan. We all witnessed it. I lost my memory, but I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything, step by step. Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends, eating escargot, drinking vodka. A bloodthirsty mob attacked the non-human district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Are you telling me everything? We were all there. All meaning who? You really don't remember a thing. Your loved ones. Your friends. Sounds a bit like a ballad. It's the truth and nothing but. Geralt, forgive me. I still can't believe you're here. Listen, Dandelion, I don't have proof because that's impossible. I don't remember. I'm afraid some things can't be explained. Hmm. Let's sit down. 
Have a drink like old friends. Time will tell who I am. You're right. We've been through too much together. I'd know. You invite anyone? A knight named Siegfried. You'll like him. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Frankly, I don't like those pompous zealots. They're not all like that. Siegfried's different. We'll see. Let's drink to old friendships. So, everything's ready. Let's have a drink. I've been thinking and I have a question. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. Let's imagine your next contract is a vampire. What would you do? You said we've been through a lot together, so you should know. Ha! Huh. What if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire? Dandelion, believe me, if you could tell a Bruxa to hunt rabbits, for instance, I'd be long unemployed. What about higher vampires? They're rare. I don't know. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a higher vampire. Dandelion. Cheers! Cheers. Ah, strong, but good. You were about to enlighten me. I just did that with that last shot. Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat... Ooh, someone's coming. Good day. Greeting, Siegfried. My respects. I am Siegfried, a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Shani, welcome. Dandelion, known in some circles as a master of melody and verse. Don't just stand there, Siegfried. Wine? Geralt got some alcohol despite the quarantine. As I see it, the quarantine is how Foltest is paying off his war debt to the merchants. Ordinary folks can't pass, only those with connections. The quarantine is necessary to protect humans from the plague. What about non-humans? I don't understand. You don't have to be Dykstra to know how the Order treats non-humans. Order and peace is our ideal. In line with that same ideal, all elves and dwarves are criminals, right? King Foltest, not the Order, rules here. His law must be obeyed. The non-human band terrorizing this area makes a mockery of the king's law. Ha! I don't suppose you'd be so responsive to your king's will if he imposed taxes on you. The order pays the crown its due on time. Geralt, I can't listen to this. Say something! Hmm... I would gladly hear your opinion. The order does its duty. Geralt, you support this lousy anti-elven propaganda? The Skoya tell murder innocents. They've abandoned their fight for freedom to fight the human race. I don't believe I'm hearing this. What about dwarves? Zoltan, for instance. An exception that proves the rule. What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands of wounded, I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you like Siegfried. He's nice. I'm glad. So, I was about to enlighten you. The superstitions concerning higher vampires. Enlighten me, please. This is serious, Geralt. Unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood, human or otherwise. Blood, my dear monster slayer, is like booze to them. Where'd you learn this? I've never heard such nonsense in my life. Can you explain, Dandelion? I just don't get it. Dandelion, what's your point? Geralt, you had a true friend who was a vampire. Did I also have a true friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did, so the joke's on you. In any case, it's true. We traveled a long way, for many months, with a higher vampire as our companion. Do you remember Regis? Master Dandelion, I'm seriously concerned about your mental health. Can you give me a last name, Dandelion? Emil Regis Rohalek Tertsif Godfroy died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. Let's drink. Cheers. To Rusty. Witcher, I have a favor to ask. Ask away. If you're my friend, you'll not turn me down. We'll see. I wanted to thank you for your invitation and to ask you, as my friend, to do me one more favor. 
Why do I think I'm not going to like this? Fetch me a bottle of liquor from downstairs. You want me to steal the old lady's wine? Absolutely not. On my way out, I leave a coin pouch worth five bottles. Why don't you go yourself, Siegfried? My armor is quite noisy, and it's very difficult to get out of. I see. Fair enough. I'll be right back. Hello, precious. Do you go upstairs? Geralt? Here's the liquor. I am indebted to you. Another round? I think I know the perfect song for this occasion. We'd love to hear it. Let's have it. Autumn scents have pervaded the air The wind stole the words from our lips That's the way it must be, please don't shed Those diamonds that run down your cheeks Your home all surrounded by snow Glassy frost covers rivers and lakes that's the way it must be, please don't show This yearning and grief on your face When the spring comes along with the rain The sun will warm up us both That's the way it must be for we burn With fire Eternal like hope. You have a beautiful voice, Siegfried. I didn't know you could sing. Where did you learn? In the choir at the Order. Won't you stay longer, Siegfried? Sing me some monastic songs? Dandelion, don't we need to be somewhere? I suppose. I too should take my leave, but could we meet again, my lady? Oh, yes. Need something? The lightning rod? It's ready. Fifty orans. Fifty orans, like we agreed. What is it? You druids control nature's forces, right? No, we cannot. Rather, we live by its rhythms. You train wild animals, and you can stir up a storm? No, I, I mean yes, but not by force. Well, I need a tempest with thunder and lightning. Can you create one? I can, but as I said... I'll pay. Call it a donation toward the prevention of further devastation of the environment. Five hundred orans. That's too much. Things are getting more expensive, and we have to live somehow. Five hundred it is. Come back when you're ready. Here's five hundred orans. I await my storm. It's no easy feat. I'm no common mage, harnessing storms with absurd stone posts. I'll be looking for those storm clouds. I know your intention, Witcher, and I would prepare. Imbibe some of those potions, for you'll need them. A witcher without potions is half a witcher druid.
Zephyra and Oppo submerged. 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 Aren't you eager to learn the truth? I'd rather stay focused. Should I get the book from the tower? Yes, hurry. We can't let Kalkstein get ahead of us. I hope that murderer swallowed the bait. I think I made sure of that. You'll soon learn the truth. Good. I was getting impatient. What do we do now that we have the treasure from the tower? How do we lure the mage here? He's here already. I only see you. So you say. The detective was on to me and you trusted him, so I killed him and assumed his identity. Two birds with one stone. I needed you to open the tower. I don't need you anymore.
out. Contrary to popular opinion, chaos and terror do not spread on their own. The venom of Zeracanian scorpions, lethal even to mutants. Mistakes, Witcher. They can be deadly. Give my greetings to that young companion of yours. And now, have a nice time dying. All felt the battle in the swamp was the beginning of events that would soon rock Temeria. Sensing the approaching conflict, both sides were eager to test the enemy. A routine skirmish between patrols erupted into a regular battle. Led by unwavering faith, the Knights of the Order showed greater determination and emerged victorious. The Skoyatal learned that freedom could only be achieved by shedding blood, their enemies, and their own. Azar excluded me from the battle. When Triss woke me, heaps of bodies appeared before my eyes. It was the last time I was able to avoid taking sides. You're mistaken. I have him under control. And not just him. They're all leading out of my hand. I regret that Voltest is away at the summit, but I trust you'll tend to the King's Council. I assume you've resolved matters with Livarden as well. Yes. I made an offer and he accepted. He claims his superiors had similar plans, but we beat them to it. Men can do nothing but talk and then always claim the initiative. And how is your Witcher? I should be able to convince him. Don't overdo it. Geralt can be exceptionally perceptive. I know. I must get back. I'll contact you when it's all over. Never let the Witcher guess what you hide from him. Triss? Should you be up? I'd rather make sure you've recovered completely. How? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. Well, you seem to be at full strength. It must be that unusual Witcher's metabolism. Triss, how did I get here? Pure coincidence. I was scanning for magic anomalies and happened upon a false trail set by Kalkstein. You found me in the swamp? What happened there? I don't know. The alchemist is still there, examining solid stone. But he won't find anything. The greater anomalies are here in Vizima. Magic anomalies in Vizima? Yes. I'd appreciate it if you could help me figure them out. But back to your health. I thought I was at full strength. You misunderstood me. Physically, nothing's wrong. It's your mind that worries me. Explain. You raved for hours. I had no choice but to read your thoughts to learn about your injuries and which poisons you took this time. I'm sure you read beyond that. I couldn't help it. Your thoughts were quite loud. In any case, I know about your recent adventures. Can you help me? Recover your memory? I doubt anyone can, but there's a small chance... A small chance of what? From what I saw, I think you would benefit by creating a stable personality. Meaning? Geralt, please, this is important. Just limit the psychobabble. You need to take a stand on the world's problems. It doesn't matter what position, just that you choose one. A strong identity may help restore your memory. Can't you just tell me what you saw? No. I don't want you turning into my vision of Geralt. I want you to decide for yourself who you are, without looking back. I shouldn't take an interest in the past? Exactly. Your memory should return in due course. We'll see. Geralt. You said something about magic anomalies. Various things can cause them, but more importantly, they can be the cause of true evil. When I last felt this way, you and a sorceress were trying to capture a genie, destroyed half a city in the process. You probably have no recollection, but a lot hung in the balance. I don't recall. I could use your help. I have some magic sensors that need to be placed around Vizima. They'll help us locate the anomaly source. All right. Give me the sensors. I'll take care of it. Always eager to please. What are friends for? Hmm. I saw a perfect wall cavity in the trade quarter near Town Hall. Place one there, a second in the temple quarter near the entrance to the sewers, and the third in Vizima's cemetery. We'll create a typical Radcliffe Triangle. You know, of course, that triangulation is most effective in these cases. How did you get here? Long story. 
when you men went chasing around. Which proved effective. By some miracle, I decided to look for Salamandra using unconventional methods. Any results? Very good ones. You'll learn it all in due time. Why not now? To get this information, I had to agree not to tell you. Patience, Witcher. Who were you talking to through the mirror? You heard me? Ah, sorcerer's business. Nothing important. Sounded serious. I had to make a few promises to learn about Salamandra. You could. Trust me, it was nothing important. I'll see you later. See you. Oh, I nearly forgot. What? Luvarden, a merchant, wants to see you. He hosts banquets at the new Nerecourt. I don't like banquets. Important people will attend. I don't know. Including Princess Ada, whose curse you lifted? Apparently, she's slightly obsessed with you. I'll think about it. I'll be there. All right, I'm convinced. Maybe I can gather some information there. Six this evening. Here's the pass that makes you official in the trade quarter. A pass? Well, in addition to a quarantine, the authorities of Azima have imposed martial law. How'd I miss that? It only covers the trade quarter, which you haven't entered. So how do these passes work? Only the quarter's residents are allowed to move about. I have a house here, so I was able to get a pass. So what do I do? Well, I registered you as residing here. Falsely, of course. Listen, about my identity. Progress already? I'm still analyzing. Geralt. I'll see you later. Armed as you are, I stay clear of the guards. You! Stop! Yes? Your pass. You're overdoing it with the passes. Complain to the king. He's returned? No, but all new edicts bear his seal. Farewell. The neighborhood has lost charm since they... I'm going to be all wet. Armed as you are, I stay here. I hear you killed three deadly beasts. True. A special reward. This runic stone should be useful. The city should offer more rewards soon. What pays well? A huge wolf has appeared in the swamp, and the locals claim wyverns steal their children. Wyverns don't hunt humans without provocation. Locals, nothing but trouble. They probably tried to drive the wyverns off. Tell me more. Ask! Where did you learn about monsters? A family heirloom. A book wherein all beasts are described and shown. Know what it says there? What? Each monster embodies a human iniquity. Devourers. Gluttony. Vampires. Drunkenness. What's a giant centipede embody? Uh. The outskirts cramping you? I was ordered back to Vizima. King Faltest is returning soon. What do you need? Cemetery still closed? They reopened it recently, but take care. Monsters? Hordes. What do you need? I'm here about the notice. Yes? I understand you need six jugs of dog's lard. I want you to cull as many mutts as possible. Bring me the lard as proof. Farewell. Eternal fire, fill my heart! I'm listening. Still manning your post? Work hard, 
Play hard. Any ideas on what to name my new unit? Flaming Spears of Destruction. Very well. Flaming Spears of Destruction. Why are you here? I'm wondering about the introduction of martial law. I must prepare my unit. I need other assistance, however. With what? People disappearing in the town cemetery. Go investigate. Is there payment? Certainly. Besides the Order's gratitude. I'll go look. I'll pray for you. Bye. Stand ready at all times. Bites. Scratches. Bones crushed for the marrow. The work of ghouls. Before? Not one that talks. I hate to boast, but I am exceptional. My kin prefer growling. I found some human corpses. Hey, not my work. I don't eat live ones. I'll tell you who's to blame if you spare my life. Agreed. The pointy-eared ones. They rob graves and sneak about. Whoever's in their way, they kill. And your group leaves them alone? With a taste terrible. And they bring us food. Thanks. Now shove off. Be seeing you. What do you seek here, Witcher? Murderers. Then visit the city. It's inhabited by a criminal race. We fight to survive. Humans only comprehend force, and thus will we talk to them. I doubt you'll live long. You threaten us, Dwan? But no, six ape people, including women and children, remain inside the crypt with the ghouls. Kill us, and you'll never reach them in time. Aid them, and we'll be free. Choose, mutant.
You saved us from certain death. Thank you. The elves left us to the monster's mercy. I'm afraid your friends are dead. We heard terrible screams down those corridors. The monsters must have... I've killed most of them. The passage should be clear. Get out of here. Thanks be to Melitelli, and may you be blessed. Woe is me. Will no one help me? Why the grief? My husband haunts me. What do I do? Haunts you? In your bedchamber? My late husband haunts me. Tell me more. Maybe I can help. My husband died a month since, and now haunts me in my home, wailing nightly. But the worst thing is... He... I'm listening. Worst, he flies around the cemetery at night shouting lies about me. Doubtless tongues are wagging already. Set him straight, I beg you. It will cost you 200 orins if I succeed. Oh, that's a hefty sum, profiting off someone else's misery. Well, deal with him and I'll pay. Where will I find you when I'm done? I'm here every day at noon. Why can't I collect payment when I want? Are you daft? My husband flies around ruining my reputation. I'll not be seen in the company of a killer. So long. I'm listening. I dealt with the cemetery issue, but... What happened? Besides the talking ghoul, the Scoia'tael played a role, robbing graves and slaying anyone in their path. A talking ghoul? Perhaps you've taken one elixir too many. Be serious now. I saved the humans thrown to the ghouls, but the murderers fled. Eternal fire, like a true knight. Fret not, my units will catch the murderers. I don't understand. You saved innocence. No greater good could you have done. You deserve a bonus. I'm proud of you. Greetings. Greetings, dwarf. No pain in your teeth? Schmarz, Zein, dentist. Geralt of Rivia, witcher, immune to cavities. Right. Witchers slay monsters? Generally, yes. Dentists too, but rarely. Because I'm a collector of teeth. Want more teeth? Certainly. The rarer the better. I'll pay. I'll look. Remember... They needn't be monster teeth. I prefer unique specimens with a story to them. How can I help you? I've a bar guest skull. Excellent, Jor. Fifty orans. I'll have to crush it. My cousin gave me hammers. How can I help you? I found some things. I already have those. Damnable cold. A mammoth sneeze once caused me to squeeze a patient's tongue with pliers. I can pay you only 25 orange. I... I don't feel like talking. You look very worried. True. My grandmother, she's... Is she in pain? No. Many youngsters would envy Granny's health. She's changed, and dread fills my heart. Perhaps I can help. Granny will speak to me only to warn me away from the cellar. I'll visit her and find out what I can. My help will cost 50 orins. I'm not wealthy, but Shani spoke of your kindness. Where does your granny live? The crossroads near where the peddlers stand. Farewell.
I'll call the gods! Woman, look at me. That thing downstairs was no son of yours. Open your eyes. Who are you? Get out of my house! What do you need? I'm here about the notice. Yes? I have six jugs of dog's lard. I use the lard on the caskets. <laughs> Here's your payment. Farewell. How's my grandmother? She'll recover soon. The job proved difficult, but we agreed on 50 orins. I have the gold. Tell me what happened. A dangerous creature lived in her basement. It tried to enslave her, but worry no more. Gods, how horrible. She'll be fine now she's out of danger. I thank you. Shani spoke true about you. No problem. Speak softly, or someone will spot us together. I've dealt with your husband. Have you proof? You didn't mention proof. I want my gold. You're depriving a widow of a pittance! Quiet down. Aren't you afraid of being seen in the company of a witcher? Damn you! Take your gold and be gone! Geralt, I'm glad you're here. I'm not in the mood for music, Dandelion. We'll talk later. Geralt, I promised to perform for all these people and I don't have my loot. Then you have a problem. Geralt. What's so special about this loot? It's the one I got from Teruviel in the Valley of Flowers, remember? Who's Teruviel? The She-Elf from the Blue Mountains. You did quite a number on her nose when you two first met. Where is she now? I heard she joined the Scoyatel. I wonder if she's still alive. In the Valley of Flowers? I even wrote a ballad about that, where the devil says goodnight. I'll be singing it today. I remember that. Great. So you know why I want that loot back. What happened to your loot? Hmm. Long story. Tell you over a drink? Forgot how tough you were. <laughs> Got up the courage to tell me about the loot? I guess. My loot's at the home of a rich merchant. The house is on the west side of Salt Square. And I can't possibly leave. The crowd awaits. Why wouldn't you tell me earlier? Well, 
The merchant caught me giving his daughter lessons. In what? Relax, Geralt. Music. All right. I'll fetch your loot. Wonderful. Fighting or watching? I was once invincible, the Great White Hope. Huh? Now I loiter around cesspools because of one fight. You were a warrior? A boxer. I had fans galore. Women. Gold. And now? What happened? Judges disliked blows below the belt. They disqualified me. I see. I fought until... Until? I fought the lion. Did he... One punch. Deadly. And I realized I'd never win. I've worn a hood ever since to avoid being recognized. After one punch? It was a spiritual transformation. I can take you. A wager, huh? Two hundred orins. I'm in. I'm itching to it. Who wants to get slapped? You bastard! Did you train with the lion? I'm a witcher. I win. Take your prize. I want gold. Three hundred. Take it and be gone. Leave my daughter in peace. I want my friend's loot. That inflated singer seduced my daughter out! I want nothing from your daughter. I don't believe you. Get out of my house, you blooming drifter! Listen, good man. Out! Or I'll kick you out! I'd prefer a peaceful resolution. Shove off. I've heard enough insults. I'll take you with one hand, bastard! Take that! Damn you! Pass then. Just don't beat me anymore. The loot is in a trunk upstairs. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. I apologize for the intrusion. That's alright. I'm terribly bored since Papa caught the troubadour dandelion here. No one sees me. That's why I'm here. Why didn't he come himself? Perhaps it's just as well. You look promising too. I'm here about the loot. I figured. Somehow he hasn't been singing love songs under my window since Father caught us. By the way, I hope you didn't hurt Papa. He'll be fine. Why should I give up the loot? After all, Dandelion won't come to see me anymore. He's like that. If I give it to you, he'll use it to serenade some other... victim.
You demonstrate that your character, the beauty of your soul, outshines even your rosy cheeks. <laughs> Don't flatter me. I'm no fool. The poet master humiliated me. He used me like some lewd wench. I want revenge. I want him to feel what I feel now. If you give up the loot, it'll prove he's nothing to you. You dumped him. Yes, he fell at my feet. He proposed, but I refused. I would stop short of the marriage proposal. No one would believe it. Am I not good enough for that scoundrel? It's more his problem. If you knew how many tears I've shed for that idiot! Take the loot and go. Leave me to suffer. Can I cheer you up somehow? Embrace me. I heard once that a witch's touch is, um, special. It's a myth. I'll take the loot and bother you no more. Get out, you lousy vagrant. Don't let me see you again. Geralt. Here's your loot. Great. I owe you one. I need to prepare. When's your performance? After eight at night. Come if you want. If I can. Want to play dice? Kill some time? Listen. My throat is parched. Fetch me a drink and I'll gladly share my knowledge. What would you like? Milk. Sorry, I don't have any. What? Nothing. What place is this? Gambling hall. Enjoy yourself. Drink and eat. No whores. Who's worth talking to? If you want to play dice, see Costa. Liquor from the waitress. What's that? Those swords just for show. Another new face? Regulars must be recommending the place. This business grows more dangerous. I don't plan on rotting in prison. Prison's not bad. You a criminal? This hall exists for decent folk. I fear military law. Perhaps the penalty for what I'm doing is death. Bribes won't get you by. The soldiers grow more greedy and audacious. Something's afoot. I hope to be away before it occurs. Mm. How can I help? Is this your place? I merely run it. The shareholders wish to remain anonymous. Who are they? I epitomize discretion. As do I. Ask such questions and you'll anger a huge organization. Salamandra? Get out now!
Master Dandelion is amazing. Very nice. Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Mm-hmm. Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome! Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Marigold and... Duet. I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, Princess. A princess indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Forgive me, milady, but even the finest dress would pale in comparison to you. Mind your tongue, mutant. Duet. I will decide if and when I am offended. Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us for now. You shall be summoned when I need you. Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Velarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster or petition the king, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgermeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Levarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. It's not strong enough. My hair prices will increase. Enjoying yourself? Exquisitely. Not enough food. Nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times, new customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a relic. Someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I have the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. 
be straight, like Tala the Fence would be. Tala the Fence does nothing for free. Tala the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade. There will be no room for your neutrality. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Who exactly is DeWet, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the Order, he worries his dicks too small. So he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Is Luvardin somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he had some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Excuse me for a moment. We'll talk later. Speak freely, Geralt, but no politics. I want to ask about the princess. No politics. About the curse. Shh. I could use something stronger. Fine. Ask. Does the princess have strange dreams? How would I know? I've not spoken to Ada without one of those bastards from the Order prisons. Any strange behavior? You're awfully close to treason. I'm not asking out of want for political influence. Our sweet princess is completely normal. Well, uh, her head's a little messed up. Is she aggressive? On occasion, but not unusual for a spoiled damsel. I don't know, she's... What? Well... Spit it out. She needs a man to give her a proper lay. Right. Must go. Later. Welcome to Lord Levarden's Feast. Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt, 
Tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? I am impressed by the comparison. Have you ever tried your hand at the fine arts, your highness? I am forced to study all kinds of nonsense, but books bore me, as does poetry for the most part. I agree. Books are for bores. Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with foreplay, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Luvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin and the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then, one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, one is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. <clears throat> Excuse me, your highness. Sore throat. We are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. Not all men. I have no desire to meddle in politics, for instance. So what are you doing here, where everyone meddles in schemes? I'm here with Triss. That doesn't interest me. As a matter of fact, you've spoiled my evening. Forgive me, Princess, I didn't mean... Apology not accepted. Out of my sight. Duet, we're leaving. Geralt, I spoke with Declan. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer. One I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. I placed the censors as you asked. I know. As soon as you did, I scanned all of Vizima and found the source of the anomaly. Where? A boy named Alvin at St. Lebiota's Hospital. How can a child be the source? You've forgotten everything. He must have immense powers. Elder blood must course through his veins. Elder blood? The gift of Lara. We need to rein in Alvin's destructive abilities. Hurry, fetch him from the hospital. I'll see what I can do. Will they let me take him? Not readily. Your friend Shani refuses to hand him over. She has no idea what the entire city faces if he spins out of control. I don't know how to talk to her. She's your friend. Settle it with her. I'd be grateful. One more thing. Elder blood attracts creatures from the beyond. Ghosts and specters. You might find this scroll useful. Lately, the Order of the Flaming Rose has become Vizima's chief center of power. You don't seem to have very much work lately. Damn true. I'd die of boredom if not for dice. I play. Care for a game? With pleasure. We can start now. Lately, the I'm here about the notice. Which one? The Gravier Bones. I'll pay if you have five. Here they are. Your gold. Unbelievable the way they've packed us in down here. I'm here about the notice. Which one? The Fletter Fangs. I'll pay if you have three. Here. Your gold. Not sleepy. They've taken over the larger hall upstairs. How are we supposed to fit down here? I'm here about the notice. Which one? 
The ghoul blood. Bring twelve vials of blood as proof you killed the ghouls. There you are. Your reward. Why were you in that witch's house? If not for Triss, I'd be dead most likely. I'll show you my other, less tender side if you're lying. Ah. What brings you here? That witch is trying to steal one of my patients, Alvin. What does that hag know about raising children? Everyone knows she can't have her own. I don't want her handling that child with her dirty paws. Devil only knows what she wants with him. Explain to her that Alvin's staying with me. It'd be much simpler if you two would just agree. Simple or not, you know her better. Please bring Alvin to me. Okay, give me a kiss. Geralt, I was looking for you. I had no idea Nurse Natala was such a wellspring of passion. You ever seen her leaning over patients? <laughs> Those eyes. Dandelion. In any case, I was on my way here to entertain Natala with some scintillating conversation when I passed these two odd-looking men dragging out this kid who was hollering and crying. They called him by his name. I think it was Alpin or Albin or something. Shit, that's who I'm here for. Well, you'll be proud of me. Oblivious to any danger, I decided to help the kid and followed them. They dragged him to this house. You're right. I am impressed. Told you. You have to take me with you this time. This is true ballad material. Matter of fact, I'll lead you there. The house is in the non-human district. Follow me. This is where they brought Alvin. Great. Wait here and don't enter until the fighting stops. You always tell me to wait outside. No. This time I'm going in with you. I'll create a new genre. The proactive ballad. I don't want you around when I start swinging. Okay. I guess poetry requires sacrifices. You dare challenge the Salamandra! <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Everything will be all right. Are they dead? Yes, Alvin. They gave me no choice. I understand, Geralt. Take me away from here. Whoa, that's a lot of blood. Geralt. And here's the boy. See? Where would you be without me? Shh. They're coming. Grab the kid and go out back. You heard them outside? Amazing. Okay, I'll take him, but where? Take him to Triss. She's a sorceress. She'll protect him best. Oof. Doubt that'll make Shani happy. But it's better than angering a sorceress, I guess. Get going. Okay, I'll leave the boy with Triss. They've taken over the larger hall ups. I'm here about the notice. Which one? The kicking more claws. I'll pay if you have ten. Ten claws. Your gold. Ah. 
I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes, any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will you help destroy Salamandra? I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful. It's as we've heard. All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamandra. Our spies say there's a new Salamandra camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. A swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, evidence that might aid us, return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence mission, sir. Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one Witcher. I'll return once I have new information. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you. We need time. Return later. Witcher. Triss, about the boy. Not now, darling. The walls have ears. We'll talk at home. What's the gift of Lara? A long, complex story, but I'll keep it short. Lara Doranep Shiadal was no normal elf, more like a genetic bomb. She was to couple with another genetically special individual and bear an even more exceptional child. But that never happened. Lara fell in love with Kurgenin of Lod, a mage, a human. Lara and Kurgenin's children, known as those of elder blood, proved hard to follow. Thus, the sorcerers who had hatched the plan lost control of their precious gene. I'll find you later. Witcher, reveal yourself as an honest man or a coward. What do you want, DeWitt? That scoundrel Taller. He refuses to abide by a royal edict. What edict? The royal edict bearing the very seal of our merciful ruler, Foltest, that strips him of his position. By the authority vested in me, etc., etc., Talar is hereby dismissed from his position as head of the Temerian Intelligence Service. And Talar objects? You're kidding. Yes. Show yourself a real patriot. Kill that pleb. Damn lies. The edict is a fake. This dickless, brainless, sellout zealot burns to see me eliminated. Silence, lice-ridden scab. You will hang, traitor. Geralt, bring me that pleb. He needn't be in one piece. I'll hear both sides. Geralt, don't listen to that piss-swilling cheat. What's wrong, Toller? He's involved. The counterfeit royal edicts. But I thought... Where do you get the royal seal, you ball-licking bastard? How dare you accuse me, mongrel? You believe the seal's fake? Clearly. If this is a royal edict, where's Foltest's signature? Geralt, this is a provocation. The king need not sign every edict. The seal is authentic. You lie, DeWitt. I can prove it and you'll hang. You can prove nothing. Surrender and live. Stay out of this, Witcher. Never. You won't take me alive, you bastards. Keep your hands off him. You'll regret this. You'll all regret it. Quiet, priest! Thanks for your help, Geralt. You best disappear for a while. Good idea, but I must speak with you. Later. I need to do something. Fine. Meet me at the new Narracord. Damn! Shit!
We meet again, Witcher. Worked out that way, I guess. I suppose I should thank you for saving my ass. I'm still not sure it was smart to tangle with Dewet. Of course it was, provided you have Temeria's well-being at heart. What do you mean? There's something afoot. You forget I'm a simple Witcher. It's like this. Before the King departed, he placed Vizima in my care. See? Seems authentic. During my absence, I entrust you with... I know you can read, Witcher, but notice both the King's seal and his signature. I see. That isn't on the other edicts. A seal can be stolen, but a signature is difficult to forge. So the royal edicts are fakes? Exactly. Master Richard! What, boy? The bank's been robbed! Master Velorat said we should fetch a Witcher! What's going on? Follow me, Master Geralt! We need help! The bank's being robbed! Strange. I wouldn't think Siegfried would let an opportunity like this slip by. We need help. Armed robbers have occupied the bank. They've taken hostages. Let's wait for Siegfried. He's coming! Just in time. Sorry I'm late. I was assembling the assault force. Greetings, Siegfried. Shall we negotiate? It's about time we did something. How do we get in? We got the key to the town hall. We'll surprise them from the back. I thought we were negotiating. I'd rather negotiate without an arrow in my eye. <laughs> go on. We'll go through the back of the town hall. Let's go. Not good. We're in! Onward! Is it true you wish to negotiate, Duan? 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 Who is this Duan they're incessantly going on about? It means human, Siegfried. Yes, we're here to negotiate. With terrorists? Never! Blooder Duan. We're not here to fight, Siegfried. Why else? To be ambushed and killed? This can be settled without anyone else getting harmed. If you must speak with terrorists, do it alone. You win. Attack! For the Flaming Rose! I shall test you, Witcher. Yes? To the vault. You must get their leader. But... Before it's too late.
sense trident syndrome. You killed elves. You killed our people. What does that get you? Yaven, calm down. You still have a choice. No, Dwan. You chose for me when you raised your arm against us. At him! You chose wisely. The Order of the Flaming Rose will be grateful. Siegfried? What are you doing here? You shouldn't. No time to explain. Yavin is escaping into the sewers. The eternal fire guides me. Let's just get him. seems he escaped. But we expelled him from the bank. Thanks to your aid. How can I reward you? Some other time. You know where to find me. How can I help you? Interested in fledder fangs? Fledders? They have channels for sucking blood. One hundred orans. How can I help you? I have alp fangs. Interesting. Alps inject anesthetic into their victims. 
Perhaps I can extract it. Maybe I can synthesize an anaesthetic that wouldn't aggravate my allergies. 150 orans. Greetings, Witcher. What are you doing in this tower? Finally! I've waited so long! Kalkstein. The greatest discovery of my life! Know that you fully earned your reward. Two. 